If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there. More NBA 2K22 news has come out today. I'm going to break it all down for you right now in today's video. Get a pass out to the pack. It is pack here. Before this video starts, please be an OG. Join the pack and subscribe. That'll help that channel out a lot. Let's try to get to 300,000 subscribers. And leave a like on the video because it it matters way too much. It matters, all right? So we're gonna start off on Twitter, okay? So TP2K22 or TP got game, right? He is currently a producer for NBA 2K and visual concepts, right? He shows a photo on Twitter of him getting a jacket, a mug, and a pen saying the logo NBA 2K22. This is officially, like literally officially, the first ever announcement at all of this game. It took us late June to get any kind of announcement of this game, but we finally got it. All right, this is literally no nothing. We don't even have a trailer. We don't have a photo of the game, the cover, nothing. We just have this, but this is a good sign because this is actually, we're getting something, okay, which is honestly more than usual because we haven't been getting anything for a long time, right? So we take that. Uh, this means that probably the game is ready to be announced the, the at least there's that right now there's obviously not too much to go off of it the logo is kind of lame if i'm being honest like there's no creativity on it at all it is the most basic the same as always 2k22 logo as ever also he got a pen why does the case of the pen so like good quality why don't they put this much focus on the game also the mug i mean that's cool and all i kind of want a jacket a 2k listen I would love a jacket. Email me. That'd be that'd be fire. Okay. So this is the only thing we can get out of this, right? Is that they're actually announcing something. Now this was back on the 18th, so we have six days ago, right? So it's been a little bit since then. But the thing is, 2K has been quiet. We have nothing. Like they have not been talking about that at all. Like let, let, let me be clear, right? They have been super quiet. They weren't even at E3 this year, guys. Like, they weren't at anything. They didn't announce anything. Like, they always at least show us a cover, right? And we don't even have that. That's how quiet it's been. Now, there's a couple reasons why this could be. But I have my personal, like, reasoning for why this is probably the case, okay? Current Gen came out in September. While Next Gen came out, I believe, in November, right? So what if maybe they're just going to be releasing the games on November from now on? So we're not going to get a new 2K game till November, right? Like maybe that's the case. Maybe that might actually happen. Like that's not out of the question. It's not crazy for us to believe that they might just push the release date of 2K two months later, right? Which means we're not going to get any announcements till two months later. So instead of it being June, we'd get it until August, right? Now that would suck, obviously. And obviously a lot of us are kind of waiting for this game already like we're so i'm super bored with both these games current and next gen have just been dry I, i've played them too much i'm done with them but maybe that's what's happening right but this announcement for tp and showing us all this at least is letting us know that it's ready to be announced really really soon which is a good sign okay uh not only that we have another situation right here, and it's a topic from YBC15, and he has a personal wish list for 2K22, and honestly, I think it's so good that I want to talk about it, okay? He says, an NBA 2K22, my team, there should not be 4,000 cards. There should not be guys who average 7 points a season and get a 98 overall. 30, 40 Hall of Fame Galaxy cards, Peyton Pritchard, Xavier Tillman, the list goes on. My team was at its peak in 16 and 17 and 19 when there wasn't 20 versions of LeBron. And you know, I'm not really one of my team. Like I did start off the channel playing my team, but like I haven't touched it in like years, right? But when he said 20 versions of LeBron, I'm like, all right, he's he's being over dramatic. But d dude, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 versions of LeBron. And that's the only ones they're showing us from 85 overall up to 99. And then of the 99, it's just that there's two small forwards in the 99. Why? Why? Why are there two pink diamonds? It doesn't make any sense why there's so many LeBrons. This is what I feel for my team, okay? You want a card to feel special. Like when I get a player, I wanna be excited, not uh, this is the shitty version of this player, right? I don't wanna feel that, right? There should be two cards for every player. 
the current card, which is like how they're doing in the NBA today, and their prime card, right? So LeBron has his Lakers card right now and the one he's won like with Miami, right? Let's say a player like, I don't know, Jamal Crawford. No, no, let's, let's do with Lou Williams, right? Like, yeah, you have Lou Williams on the Atlanta Hawks right now, or you could have Clippers Lou Williams, for example, right? You could have CB3 on the Suns, or you could have CB3 on the Hornets, right? Like, yes, there's a good version of your card or a regular version of your card, but then there's like the super version, right? But we don't need a 99 overall Taco Fall. I know it's fun. I know it's silly. Maybe they should do it at the end of the year, like the last month where like they're just making up crazy cards. But I, I see it's just dumb. Also, YBC, you need to charge your phone, my guy. What is this? What is going on? But for 100% for for real, I'd be more interested in my team if the cards mattered. I, I don't like that there's 20 different cards and all the cards are very little changes. And then at the end of the day, you're never having the real good card. And so when you finally get that good card, then they release another card that's even better somehow. And you're just triggered, right? I think that's lame for sure. Last two things is there's some coaching changes in the NBA. So Ime Udoka is going to be the coach for the Celtics now. And then also Rick Carlisle is going to be the coach for the Pacers now. Now, whether or not they're going to change that into 2K, it is making me interested. I don't know if they're just going to update it in this game or wait till the next game. At the end of the day, though, interesting pickups for both teams. I mean, Ime Adoko used to be a Spurs assistant coach. Like, any assistant coach from the Spurs is fire. Anybody that can learn from Coach Pop is, like, automatically a dub for any team to pick up. Like, they just take, like, James Borrego for the Hornets from the Spurs. Brett Brown was used to be a Spurs assistant coach. Like, they just strip coaches from the Spurs, man. Like, what, what are we going to do with Pop retires? We're going to run out. And then Becky Hammond, the rumor is she's going to the Blazers. So, like, kind of crazy. But at the end of the day, uh, I think 2K should just update it now. Right? Like, why not? No, if we're being realistic, they're going to update it to the next game. But still, I guess I'm okay with that, right? Overall, that's the major news we have today in NBA 2K. For NBA 2K22 and 2K21. What do you guys think? There was a patch yesterday. I'm going to make that video next today. Is there any news you want me to cover? Leave it in the comments below or follow me on Twitter and send me any stuff that you think is interesting and I might cover it in today's video. And if you like this channel, please give it a sub and I'll see you guys next time. If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there.